There is a perception that just because fetuses are less developed, they are more subjective and acceptable to be killed. Just because they are vulnerable doesn't mean they don't have the right to live. Abortion is defined as directly and intentionally killing an innocent human being. People who support any reasons for abortion are contributing to the very reason it is happening. But that doesn't mean that you can't do nothing in that situation. You may still be able to stop it, but how you stop it is the issue. <clears throat> we could be killing or eliminating the medical crisis and not the unborn child. For example, if a woman's cancerous uterus needs to be removed because her life is in danger, or if the child was past viability, then the child could survive in an incubator. If the uterus needs to be removed prior to viability, then when we remove the uterus, the child's death is an effect of doing a good thing, which is removing the cancerous organ. If we could save that baby, we should be. That's very different from abortion. The intention with abortion is to eliminate that life. But in this situation, it is an act of trying to save the woman from her medical crisis instead of directly and intentionally killing the baby. You are in control of the choices you made. You made a conscious choice to be careless with your sex life. It's not an excuse to carefully think of abortion as an option to deal with your unexpected pregnancy. Others believe that this is their only choice, only way to quick fix what they had done. They convince themselves that it's for the best, but you'll know that deep down in your heart that it's not for the best. No one talks about that it hurts. It will hurt you physically and mentally for the rest of your life, and I'm pretty sure that you don't want to have that memory with you forever. I believe that abortion should never be an option. The decision of your actions before you got pregnant is the option. That baby inside you could be a doctor in the future, a person who could save hundreds of lives. It could be an inventor, a scientist, who will share his knowledge to the new era of the science. The baby inside you could be an artist who touches people's lives through his art, music, and stories. Don't get that beautiful life to him. Let him share to you what he could become. Let him be part of you the way you wanted to be part of him. Now tell me, what's the difference of killing a newborn child from killing a fetus?